Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Tim here. Uh, I got a nice beginner 8-ball drill for you today. Now this is a setup for level 2. For level 1, just throw one stripe, one solid, and the 8-ball out on the table. And pick a stripe or a solid and try and sink it, and then the 8. We'll take ball in hand after the break. Any balls pocketed on the break, stay down. But if you pocket the 8 on the break, spot it and then start your run. The object is to successfully run out two out of three racks. Let's start with level two. I chose the stripes here because it requires much less cue ball movement. Soft stun off the 11 and then follow on the 13 to come off two rails for the eight. I didn't hit it quite hard enough, but it's still a very makeable shot. We're going to do stripes again, just a stop shot on the 9, and then I can just come off one rail off the 13 and get a beautiful shot on the 8 in the side pocket. And that'll be 2 out of 3. So now we're going to move on to 7 balls. 3 stripes, 3 solids, and the 8. I'm choosing solids here to minimize cue ball movement. Please drop a comment and let me know if you would have done something differently and why. This is just two nice easy follow shots and then all I have to do is stun off the bottom rail from the three and get a nice shot on the eight. I do end up hitting it a tad too hard and almost blew it, but I made it. And that's one. Let's move on to another one. I managed to pocket a stripe off the break, so if I choose stripes, I now only have two balls to run out before I sink the eight. And remember, you can always choose stripes or solids. For example, pocketing a solid does not guarantee that the solids will be the easier run out on the table. In this case, it made sense to go for stripes. A stun shot off the 12 gives me a nice little draw shot on the 13 to get on the eight. And that's two out of three. Time for nine balls. Four stripes, four solids, and the eight. Let me know if you would have chose stripes or solids in this instance. I am in no way an advanced player, and the stripes just seemed like it would be more doable for me at the moment, so I chose stripes. I got out a line on the 15, so I end up having to shoot the 12 first. It's always good to play for multiple options when possible in 8-ball. Knowing I had the 12 down there that I could shoot if I got out a line takes a lot of pressure off the shot. And that leaves me a very makeable shot on the 8, and that's rack 1. Again. Take a peek and let me know if you would choose stripes or solids in this instance. It's always good to get a second opinion. For some reason I felt like shooting stripes at the time, but I do think that the solids would have been a better option, or at least starting with the 14 ball to get better position on the other two. But I messed up pretty bad, and now that's a rack loss, so I'm one and one and I must win the next rack to move on to the next level. I did sink a solid on the break, but I felt like the stripes was more runnable, so I did choose stripes. And on the 10 ball, I just needed to follow off the side rail with a bit of left spin to miss the 8, but I hit the 8. But I knew I wasn't going to hit it hard enough to sink it, and I would hold for the 14. So that's the, the option I chose. And that'll be 2 out of 3. So now we can move on to 11 balls. 5 solids, 5 stripes.
I managed to get lucky and sink two stripes on the brake and all three remaining stripes are nice and close to the corner pocket. So I was able to run out this rack, but this is the level where it pretty much ends for me. When I first started this drill, I could barely run two out of three racks with the five ball pattern. So it does go to show that practice is definitely paying off and someday I hope to get to the full 15 ball rack. If I just hit this with some right spin and a little harder, I would have been able to get a much nicer shot on the eight. And this is the last rack. I'm tied one for one. I don't end up running out this rack, so that ends my run and I have to go back to the nine balls. And that'll basically do it for the drill. I think this drill is a lot of fun. It's very effective for learning how to run out eight ball patterns, and it's very easy to track your progress. I just marked down my last successful level, and the next time I do the drill, I try and beat that. And that's going to do it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, please leave in the comments the, the level you're able to get to. After this level, obviously, you go to 13 balls, and then after that, you go to 15 balls. So... If you have any tips or suggestions, things I might have done differently, please leave them in the comments. And if you like these kinds of videos, please consider subscribing to the channel. All right. Happy queuing, everybody. Take care.